Hello guys, welcome to the annual analytic review of 2022 and my plans for 2023. So with no further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this year a big milestone is subscribers. 1,000 subscribers, four digits, yahoo, yay. Um, I didn't publish a lot of videos. Uh, it's more like a productivity problem. It has been seven months, as you can see here. Uh, I actually have been working on two videos. None of them have made it out yet, but I think one is really close to making it out. So you should probably see it in like two or three days. Uh, this New Year vacation in Japan, I'm probably going to get it out. I think I probably could. But... If I don't, I would really hate myself. <laughs> but anyways, let's look at the numbers. I think if you're here, you probably like to look at numbers. So I think last year's review it was only 32 views and um, I have two likes and one dislike on that video. <laughs> so if you're one of those like 30 people, you probably like to look at numbers. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm do also doing this for myself, so, uh, let's switch this to 365 days. So views are up and watch times are up, but I think most of this is due to YouTube started to recommend my videos more and more to new people on, on YouTube. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, you can see my top content is the hentai gana video. Of course, it has been long waited. And next year there will be another video. That will be the last one. Uh, vertical writing in Japanese, which is surprising. It's doing surprisingly well. Um, more Japanese video, and there's a Chinese video, which is surprising, which this Chinese video actually worked. So the content of this video is whether uh, Nanking Massacre is actually described in the Japanese text, but the result is kind of uh, complicated, let's put it that way. But yeah, so it's a kind of a common... I guess you could say it's a common misconception in China that uh, Japanese history textbook doesn't describe Nanjing Massacre, but I mean, the reality is they do, but it's not like a, it's complicated. But anyways, I actually bought all the Japanese history textbooks and compared them. I was thinking to make it this into a series. So, oh. hmm. excuse me. I was thinking making this a series, but I don't know, maybe. Uh, so this is by views. Let's look at watch time. So, oh, it doesn't show watch time. Uh, subscribers, it also doesn't show. Let's go at, look at the detailed view. So if we sort by watch time, Oh, the second one is actually the Chinese one. So I am officially a multilingual channel. I have content on more than one language that is being watched, which is something I always wanted to do. I'm, I'm glad this channel is kind of finally starting to snowball into something bigger. I mean, a couple years after I would have hoped, but you know, I mean, it's, it's always been not just a hobby of, of mine, so better than nothing. Mm. Okay, so these two are my Japanese videos and they have like 40 hours. So, I mean, compared to 160 hours, it's not much, but I mean, it's they are, they are being viewed. So I guess that's, that's good. Hmm. Geography. United States, Japan, of course, Canada, which is great because I love Canada. 
uh, sort of views. It's also United States, Japan, Canada, yeah. Hmm. Some reason people in UK tend to watch longer. People in Japan tend to watch. Yeah. Well. Subscription status. Content type. Operating system. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there are some lot of things I I care here. So I guess that's the end of the. Statistics section. Let's look at all the videos I made this year. Uh, so this Japanese ex Jehovah's Witness manga is actually something I really looked forward to making for a long time, but and I spent a lot of effort on this one, and it's only getting three hundred views, so that's sad. But it's something. I feel morally obligated to do because this, I'm in Japan and there's very few people who can get the word out about the ex Jehovah's Witness movement, and it also goes back to the roots of this channel as a atheist channel. So, if you even if you don't like this, it's probably going to be more video like this in the future. But I'll try to make them more interesting. I definitely spent more than nine hours on making this video. By the way, it's more like forty, fifty, <laughs> and I bought all the books. I spent the money. Uh, the hentai gana video. This one, yeah, this one definitely paid off. I you can see it's a steady rise, which is good. I mean, if I really want to do YouTube, this is the kind of content I probably want to make more of. All the numbers look good. Wow, there's not ninety five percent male audience. I I never know Japanese actually has a gender. Also, ninety three percent of you not subscribed. Why? This is insane! Like this is a series. How come you not subscribe? <laughs> Aren't you subscribing for more? Uh, this is really low. I don't know why, but. It's interesting. A lot of this is probably from Reddit. Forty percent from Reddit. So Reddit is still important for me. It's sad YouTube isn't doing much. And then YouTube search direct or unknown. I think external and direct or unknown are both like I think it's either Google or something like that. YouTube isn't doing much for my views, which is the big problem. I mean, it's just not recommending my videos enough. I think YouTube search is interesting though. Like you can see, more and more people are viewing this from search, which is an interesting result. I wouldn't have known. You can see it's trying. It's going to. I think it's going to overtake other sources. Hmm. There's a jump here. I think it's probably got featured on somewhere. This is browse features, so it's probably featured on some some video, some other video, and got some views. I do want to look at my older videos and to see whether they get a bump in traffic whenever I release a new one. Let's look at part four. Okay, you can see a bump. So this is April. So April, yeah, I think that's one I release a 
new hentai gana video. Yeah, this is in April, so I do get a small bump on older videos, so it's kind of what I was aiming for when I made this series. But I I won't just make videos that get views. It's just not what I do on this channel. And this vlog I, it's also something I really want to make. It doesn't get a lot of views. It's it's fine. But it's kind of sad, but it's fine. Also, in case you're wondering why my hair looks so different than this one, because I never cut my hair even for once during this period. This is how long my hair this is how long my hair is now. Uh, the Taiwan video. I think this one did okay. I mean, 23 hours. I probably spent 40 hours on this video. Like, 40 hours is the minimum I spend on a video. So if I... <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but if I don't make 40 other people watch it for 40 hours, I feel I'm at a loss here. Uh, it's, it's, it's growing up. It's going up. Maybe it, it will go, it will get better uh, over time, maybe. But also, this is a Japanese video and it's not a popular topic, I guess. Yeah. Well, you can see what people are searching Taiwanese, China, war. Yeah. Mm. I guess that's about it for the analytics. Oh, at the end, let's look at monetization. I think last year, let me look at last year. So this year we have 1,100 public watch hours. So let's look at last year. Mm, where is it? Ah, here it is. I think it was at the end. Ah, here. So back then I had... Uh... It's taking forever to load. Wow, YouTube. Why are you? Oh, okay. So, so I only had 700. So I had 400 more hours this year and uh, 400 more subscribers. I think that's good. I mean, 400 compared to 600 last year, that's almost double. So, well, I guess I just have to put in more hours this year, just make more videos. Uh, speaking of which, my plan for this year, let me show you. Here's my plan for 2023. Currently, I'm working on two videos, both on China, but they, they won't come consecutively. I will post the first China video and then the final episode for Kana series, and then the second Chinese video. So, first one, can Chinese and Japanese become true friends? I finished the script, but this will be in Chinese because this is more for Chinese people and Japanese people. Uh, let me try to see if I can draw on this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is gonna be in Chinese. So, uh, so this is the first one, and then this will be the second one. So I know episode for Khan series is Kana ligature, so it's just like when you have more than one character combined into the Kana, and there's actually both Hiragana and Katakana varieties, so which is very interesting. I think you will like that video. Uh, maybe some appendix, because I kind of wanted to and have some have some space for like things like 
Fungigana or Kungigana's that kind of usage of Kana, and those are also worth discussing. Did I say disgusting? Disgusting. And after the Kana series, I'm going to do a Kanji series, but it won't be called Kanji series. It won't be exclusive to Japanese. It's just Chinese characters. Because I want to talk about it, but in order to understand this thing, you have to understand it from both the Japanese and Chinese perspective. So it won't be exclusive to Japanese, but if you are learning Japanese, if you're interested in Japanese, this series will, will be interesting to you. And a another MISC episode on Japanese, which is similar to vertical writing, I won't spoil her this for you just now because I don't want other people to steal my idea. I think it's interesting and it's specific to Japan. Well, not to Japan, not only to Japan, but like it's something you would never imagine to be a thing in English, but it's very important in Japanese. <laughs> I hope I picked your interest. So these are my goals for 2023. I hope, like, if I can make this one, two, so this will be three and uh, four and five. If I can make these five videos, I will consider a year well done in 2023. I know this sounds low, but number three will be very long. So this will be like an hour. This will be like a one hour video. That's my plan. I, I know it probably won't get a lot of views because it's political and sometimes YouTube doesn't do very well with these kind of content. But this is something I really want to talk about. And I think if you're my viewers, if you're interested in this, this will be absolutely very helpful because I have I'd say this, I, I'm born in China, but I also lived through like how it was in the West. I was in Canada. I, I've lived through all that. And uh, now I'm in Japan, which is a different, more hom ho culturally homogenous country instead of like a diver diversity and all that. It doesn't, Japan doesn't have diversity. It's more uh, just Japan. It's, uh, it's kind of similar to China, but it's also different. So the comparison is very interesting. I'm not sure I've successfully sold this video to you, but it's going to be great. Uh, so personally for me, I'm just, I'm doing all right this year. I'm just keep on working, making money, saving all my money. Um, I've been like nice. I think I'm. Hmm. Things are fine. Like I, I can afford everything I want. I don't have a lot of wants, so that that's a tricky. <laughs> you don't have a lot of desires. That's how you save money, and I just stay at home. Play video games. Doesn't spend a lot of money, and. Uh, Big thing for this year is I was hoping to go back to China for Chinese New Year, which looks like it's not going to happen because the plane tickets are like $3,000, which is crazy. With all this war and all the COVID, everything going on. Yeah, it's kind of making you miss before COVID days, but I hope next year will be better. I hope the current traveling restrictions due to the high number of daily cases in China is going to ease after this wave kind of goes down. Uh, I hope. And maybe I'll make a vlog at home. Just show you guys something interesting from my childhood. Or, and I might be able to get some more materials for video in China. 
for example, compare the history textbook of China and Japan, I can get my old textbooks. Uh, well, I guess the only thing that's different with me is I got I've put on some weight. I've gained weight this this year. So I'm trying to now I'm trying to eat less and trying to do more exercises. I I hope it's going to be better after this whole COVID situation. I no longer have to wear mask and all that. I can just run outside or something. Do more exercises. Mm. I mean, the first year I did well. I actually lost weight, so I I can just keep on doing that and. Wasn't that bad. I guess it's just this year I've been too comfortable with myself. Because I've I've got I've got money saved up in my bank, I've got a stable job and I'm not on a lot of stress. I'm just trying to enjoy everything a bit too much. Hmm. Another thing is I've actually switched to a new computer. So this is a new computer I'm recording this on. Uh, it's better than the old computer. The old computer was broken by Cyberpunk. Yeah. And a faulty USB stick. I think that, that was also the problem. I don't know why, though. But it was just... Like, no matter what machine I plug it into, it just kind of breaks. Like, it, it, was, it was a USB stick for my smartphone. I had to replace it. I lost a lot of data. But it's it's fine now. I'm glad I'm beyond that. I've been playing a lot of Genshin Impact. Um, by the way, if you can see, you can probably see, you, you can probably see the desktop is just it's it, yeah it's from Genshin. <laughs> I love this game. And just today, I clear. 36 star for a spiral beast for the very first time in my life. So I guess I have something to celebrate about. So that's pretty much it. I hope you all have a wonderful new year. Bye. Don't forget to be awesome. <laughs>